One of the things that we do when we appoint our leaders very often is we pay them more than the other actors within the system. The challenge within that is the presupposition is that they're more important. Now to me, true leadership, systemic leadership, is about making sure that everybody within the system feels responsible and accountable. Effectively, you built a tribe so that everyone wants to take part. Now as a leader, you're gonna make decisions. And one of those decisions at some stage is going to be either potentially catastrophic or absolutely catastrophic. And that's down to what actually happens when you've made the decision. What about the team around you? What are they going to do when you are not on form? What do they do when you slip, when you fall, when you make an error of judgment? Now, I've had a, a situation like that myself where I embarked on a project that literally wasn't a fit and the actors that I chose to engage with just simply weren't a fit. So my mistake, my problem, my difficulty. But the problem with that is that it drew energy, it drew time, it drew resources. And as a result then I became overstretched because I was micromanaging for want of a better word. My performance was down. My motivation was being pushed to the limit. My ability, my agility, my flexibility in the system was under duress. Now fortunately, I'm surrounded by my family and my family are part of my business too. So when they saw me literally falling, when they saw me not being as capable or competent as I should have been, when they saw the project was in jeopardy, well then they all pulled together. And what actually happened was, is that I started to decline my family members who were part of the business started to step up. So they stepped up basically and they allowed the project to be carried to full successful fruition. That's the point, the critical point where things could have failed. But because I'm surrounded by people who are actually effective and feel responsible and feel accountable, they were able to step up. They were able to compensate for my lack of ability. They were able to compensate for my lack of flexibility or able to compensate for my incorrect decision. So the real questions you've got to ask yourself here though, when you look back at it and reflect, when you are under duress, when you're being challenged within the system, when you've perhaps made a mistake, is your team actually following the principles that allow for success? So number one, do they have permission to be able to step up, to stand up and to take charge? Have you given them permission? Do they have the competence to be able to know what to do if you are not on farm? Will they cooperate when they do step up? Will they work with other members within the system? And ultimately, will they know where to go? Do they know your strategy? Have you explained your vision enough? Is it in the system, basically, that even in your absence, it can continue and it can be achieved? Fortunately, I was lucky. The question is, have you put in place the structures to ensure that you don't need to be lucky? If you want to learn a bit more about this and how to do it, well then do talk to us. We'd love to hear from you.